In last week's segment, Greg and I showed you what we were going to do to get ready to install our brand new washdown pump by Jasco. We already have a Jasco pump in right now, but we're going to upgrade it with this big, yeah. really mean monster. And that's here. an upgrade, yes. Yeah, a huge is. upgrade. The 7.0 washdown pump is going to give us a lot more power, a lot more water oh, yeah. pressure to get. You'll be able to clean your decks. Yeah, no problem. All right, well, last week, Greg showed us what we had to do to get ready for that. And Greg's going to get started right now. So, Greg, why don't you show us what we got to do? Okay. Well, the first thing we did is we measured our wire from the battery to where the pump has to go, or actually to the circuit breaker, to the 35 amp circuit breaker. We connected the circuit breaker, disconnected it, shut it off, and then we went ahead and wired our battery connections. There's one positive, one negative. So the, we have the red wire going to the positive, the black wire going to the negative. And then we ran our wires and went ahead and uh, uh, tie wrapped them to make a clean install. And now we're ready to remove the old pump and put in the new one. What we did is we cut the red wire and the black wire, the positive and the negative, that goes to the switch inside, which is going to control the pump. We won't need the ground wire for this application, but we do want to keep the switch so we have something to shut it on and off with. So we've cut those, and now we're ready to take out the pump. You want to make sure that your intake valve is off so you don't get a, a bunch of water coming in. And then just remove the screws that are holding the pump in. Like so, remove your hoses. That's our old one. And that's the old one. You can keep that as a spare because it still works. Mm -hmm. But I might use this one on the skiff because this still works. On the skiff, this would be great. Plenty of power. For a wash down, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But for this boat, we have the big yeah. monster. Yeah. <laughs> and after this gets hooked up, you're going to want to put one of these on the skiff. So <laughs> probably. Okay, so all we have here is we went ahead and, and wired the, the, the circuit breaker, the 35 amp circuit breaker, which is shut off, to the terminals. Now we're just getting ready to install the pump, which is very simple. And the only reason we did the wiring out here is because it was a lot easier, a lot more room on top of the deck, and we have plenty of, of wire to play with. Right. And this can be installed this way or this way. Um, this is a gas tank on the other side of here, so we're going to go ahead and install where the old one was right on the stringer there. Okay, so we're ready to install the new pump, screw it right into the stringer. We got our DeWalt wireless here, cordless uh, drill, which has plenty of power for this application. We went ahead, we screwed down the pump, so it's in there, that's where it's gonna be. All we have left to do is hook up the hoses and then the switch that goes inside to operate the machine. So let's hook up the switch and like we like I said earlier I'm shrink wrapping everything below the decks here just to give it a little extra protection okay when you buy the pump Jasco gives you a right angle and a straight angle in our application we're going to use one straight and we're going to use one right angle and that seems to be the, a better way to fit it in here now we have the hose the right size that we want it we had the hose, yeah, right where we want it. We measured it and cut off the excess that we don't need. And this is for our through hole. Yeah, this is for the through hole. We want it as short as possible. And these do swivel. So we got a good thing, no kinks. And all we got to do is tighten up the clamp. Clamps are tight. and we're ready for a test. We're gonna turn on the um, ball valve for the through hole so we get water through here. And Dan's gonna go in there and turn it on. All right, now's a big test after working on this for a little while. All right, here we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, what's that, like 40 feet of we water? We got about 45 feet of water. That's nice. This is gonna work out really nice. Well, thanks, Greg. It was a nice little project. Something you can do at home, you know, with the economy the way it is, a lot of people don't want to spend a lot of money doing lots of repairs or boats, but this is a nice, simple upgrade that you could do it yourself, really. Sure. You know, we had the nice power gun there, worked out really nice, the drill gun. Yeah, the DeWalt drill. Yeah, that worked out really nice. Mm -hmm. And the Jasco pump is just a nice addition to a boat, you know, like this. We've always had a little problem. We're not having just quite enough water pressure, 
And now we don't have that Every, problem. Anymore. Everybody has that problem. This will solve it. Yeah, that's And cool. Jabsco right. does have all the attachments that you need, all the connectors. So you, once you buy the pump, you got everything you need except your screw gun. Yeah, everything comes in there. Right. The screw gun you can get at any hardware store. Sure. That DeWalt screw gun was really good. All right, well, thanks again, Greg. All right. And tell everybody where they can find you. We're at Marino Oil Services. The phone number is 888-441-4645. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.